Now, DW News can confirm that Belgian authorities have arrested the MEP Mark Tarabella in connection with the Qatargate scandal. The European Parliament waived his immunity last week. Tarabella had already been kicked out of his Socialist Party in the European Parliament. The Qatar corruption scandal erupted over allegations that members of the European Parliament, lobbyists and their families had been influenced by Qatari officials. And we can get the very latest from our correspondent, Jack Parrock, who joins us from Brussels. Hi there, Jack. Can you explain to us why this Belgian MEP, Mark Tarabella, has been arrested? We've just had a statement from the Belgian prosecutors who are investigating in this case. They say that this morning a number of searches were carried out, including on a bank safe in the Belgian city of Liège. And then that followed, uh, following that, he was arrested, Mark Tarabella. As you say, he had his uh, diplomatic immunity, his parliamentary immunity waived last week in a vote in the European Parliament. And actually, he himself was seen holding his hand up to waive the immunity. He has consistently denied any wrongdoing and said that he is not implicated in any of the charges. The, Belgian, the Belgians will now have an investigating judge decide whether they can keep him in detention. And that's alongside now Ava Kiley, a fellow socialist but Greek uh, MEP. She was a former vice president of the European Parliament. Her partner, Francesco Giorgi, who remains in detention. And another former MEP, uh, Antonio Panzeri, who's agreed with the Belgian prosecutors uh, a plea deal in order to essentially uh, blow the whistle and, and explain exactly how this corruption ring was operating. Another MEP also last week had his uh, immunity lifted, Andrea Cozzolino, but at the moment we don't have any information on whether the police and investigators uh, are going towards him in any sense. Today it looks like it's all about Mark Tarabella. Interestingly as well, the left group in the European Parliament, who've had eyes on the judicial case on this, suggested that Mark Tarabella could have been implicated in the corruption ring and that cash could have been involved to the tune of about 140,000 euros. That is unconfirmed. That was reported by the left group in the European Parliament. That hasn't been confirmed by the prosecutors themselves. But for a long time now, we've been expecting this case to broaden. And with this arrest, it now has. Well, I was going to say, I mean, it just sounds like this is growing and growing. I mean, what are, what are the implications of all of this? Well, the implications are huge. It's been a massively detrimental process for the European Parliament to see uh, these allegations, these charges be levelled at some of their most senior, and most prominent members. In fact, the European Parliament has put in a whole new system to try and reduce corruption or the ability for corruption. And just from sort of being on the ground and working in the European Parliament, there's a real nervousness in that institution at the moment. Having said that, there was one person who was implicated in the, who was arrested in the first round, uh, a fourth man on top of the three that, had, uh, that I, I just mentioned, uh, Nicolo Figa Talamanca. He's the head of an NGO that shared an office with an NGO of Antonio Panzeri. And he was actually released from his detention uh, last week as well. The charges haven't been dropped, but it looks like he's no longer uh, going to be too heavily involved in the investigations. The question is, where do they go from here. Mark Tarabella will appear before a judge uh, and we'll see whether those sort of, the sort of web in the European Parliament around this uh, corruption scandal broadens even further. We'll have all eyes on this in the coming hours and days. Jack, thanks for breaking all of that down for us. That's DW's correspondent Jack Parrick in Brussels.